Now let's share a workflow. Back on the Workflows Jira administration page, we'll view the dev code workflow and we can click this export and we'll select as XML and save the file. When you save the file, it'll be saved in your browser's default download folder. This XML file can be used to import the workflow into a Jira server instance. We'll click export again, and this time we'll select as workflow. Note the places you can use your workflow. You can import it to another instance of Jira, that's server, or share it with others on the Atlassian Marketplace. We'll click Next. On the Add Notes page, you see special instructions. Jira auto-populates these notes for you when it discards parts of your workflow. For example, apps, post functions, conditions, validators. When exporting workflows, use the screen to add any special configuration notes. For example, information about add-ons that should be installed. Let's click Export and save the file. And the .jwb file is saved in the default download location for your browser on your local machine. Let's go back to the workflow and we'll go to the Workflows Jira Administration page. And let's click on this Import from Marketplace. And here you can browse the workflows that are available to import.